What up guys, RealTouchGML here, back with another Game Maker tutorial. I know it's been a long time, but uh, I'm ready to get back into Game Maker, showing you guys how to do Game Maker. So, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a really cool uh, type of movement that you can set for your player, kind of like the game Asteroids. Uh, so what I did is I just created a like triangle looking player here, and he's going to be facing right. Um, well, this is the way he's facing, where this triangle is pointing. Um, so if you're going to do a player, make sure he's facing right. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make him an object here. And yep, so we're going to go into the create event here and we're going to set a variable dir equals zero. And this stands for direction. You can really name it anything we want. Uh, I just don't want this direction variable. Um, so I'm going to name it dir. So what we're going to do is in the step event, we're going to set some things up. So first off, we're going to say image angle equals dir. And we do this because, well, dir equals zero, so image angle is going to equal zero, which means he facing, he's facing right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if uh, keyboard uh, check uh, vk right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say dir plus equals 5. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And then I'll do minus equals 5 and I'll do left. So what this does, if we go ahead and play the game here, what this does is it's going to allow our image angle to move. So as you can see, our player here can move all the way around. So now we want to add uh, the movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if keyboard check VK up. What we're going to do is we're going to set speed T equal, we'll say 5. And we're going to say um, direction equals dir and if we go and copy that for the same thing with the down and we'll just do negative five so now if we go ahead and play it uh, still not and that is because I'm stupid and I capitalized yes so it wasn't actually getting the speed variable in there. So make sure your S's are not capitalized. So as you can see, now we're, we're moving now. And he doesn't stop. But as you can see, our, our asteroid guy is kind of moving. Uh, if you ever played asteroids, if not, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. But um, he is kind of moving the way an asteroid player would move. So now we need to have him stop. And all we're going to do for that is we're going to set friction t equals 0 0.1 and you can mess around with that however however you'd like but I'm just gonna set it 0 0.1 for the sake of the tutorial so now as you can see kinda asteroid movement here and he kinda he slows down so it's not an immediate stop yet he's not going on forever which is what we want so yep that was my tutorial for today folks go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe I will see you guys next time, uh, probably Java tutorial, if not Game Maker. So look for that, and I will see you guys next time.